All right, welcome back. Let's take up to the, let's start the second part. How to model the second level if you want to create a true second level loft space. Um, let's go to 3D view and take a look. So in here, what we can do is we can model a floor here using construction tool. Let's go to the advanced tool, go to construction. Note that a little bit of a construction tool, when you are inside the construction tool, it might look similar to the floor planner, but in fact, you are actually in a very different modeling space. If we start it, you can see the banners will be a little different. You can, you can have save, you can back to our floor planner, which is called DIY here. Um, so in here, um, to be less confusing, let's get rid of the furniture so it doesn't show up and bothers us. So what we really want to do here is trace this piece of the floor and move it up to become the second floor of the loft, which is also called mezzanine sometimes. So let's do it. Let's go to our rectangular tool. You can also just use the line tool to manually trace it, but in here it is much easier because we have the snapping of the rectangular tool. Click here and then use push and pull. So let's close that. And then click on the surface you just created. See, you can drag and drop. And then on the bottom, you can see the distance you're pushing or pulling. So let's type in, for example, 300. If you're happy with this. And this is our new floor. So how do we move it up? It's very simple. Hold down your shift key and double click on the surface. This makes you select the entire surface, all six faces that you have just created, which is this box. And you, you choose to group it. Grouping. So this has been grouped. Once the surface has been grouped into a solid objects, you can select move it. And then move, you can see when you move along the wall, it will automatically snap to the wall and the line would actually show as blue here, which means you are perfectly, you are moving the object perfectly vertically. Um, so let's say our room, we wanna have 2400 of the space down here. Uh, once we decided, let's say 24 is a little too low, let's move it up a little bit more. Let's move up another 400, right? So you can see the wall is almost butt against the ceiling we have, but no worries. Let's go back to our uh, room, hit save, and go back to our DIY tool, which is the floor planner. This is where you will see that, oh, okay, we have a model here, which is, if you click on it, it will show the tag of model editor. When you see a modeling editor, everything you see this tag, that means this geometry is created in a construction tool. Uh, so since the problem is the room is too slow, let's go back to our floor plan. Click on the room, go to level, and then set the height to be say 5,000. And let's notice once we adjust the room height, the wall automatically changes with it. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look. Boom, there you go. You have our floor here, which is our perfect mezzanine space. And let's go a little bit further into the construction tool. Uh, let's take a look into the walking mode. Let's go back. There you go. This is your second level. We can see some glitches up here, but which is okay because you can always adjust the height of the window and the curtains here. So by doing this, you effectively added another mezzanine. You just need to add another stair here. What's even amazing is when you are actually inside the modeling tool, you can change the finishes of the second floor of each modeling surfaces. Okay, let's ungroup it. So if you do not group it, you will actually automatically apply the finishes on the left side onto all six surfaces. If I tried this, Take a look. Drag and drop. 
So all six surfaces will get this. And of course here we can just apply a normal wood floor finish. You can also match using material brush and then replace the material on the original surface. Go ahead and proceed. Boom, there you go. And what a, another cool feature I would like to show you is after you ungroup this and click on the surface, you can see you can actually change the way how the tile is paved. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little clear. Let's do staggered. It's not too obvious, but let's do herringbone. This is really cool. There you go. You have a different herringbone floor on the second floor, which looks really awesome. And also after you ungroup the model, you can always change the materials on the side as well. We'll close that and let's go to hard paint, right? Let's say if you want a little bit harder edge, drag and drop here. Same thing here because you just created this geometry that effectively is your ceiling. So you can always adjust the texture of the ceiling, the texture of the paint. And if you drag and drop here, there you go. Just got a little ceiling finish here and I got a floor finish on the top. Let's hit save and back to DIY tool. And then let's take a look I'm using the Q and the E, Q as going up and E as leveling down like an elevator. So you can see how we adjust the different floor here. Okay, looks great. In the next part, I'm going to show you a even more further advanced modeling technique using construction tool to create a gable roof.